everybody and welcome back to Beyond the Bedlam and a new format video. It's not a Ramrod recommend, well it's a sort of Ramrod recommends but this is more of a experience we're going to talk about. Uh, just last night we got to play with for the first time the PS4 VR. Now we've played VR before on like a mobile phone sort of headset that you put your phone in and you get to you know look around and you're like wow I'm underwater I'm in space. And it was, it was awesome. But this is Sony's official PlayStation 4 VR. Now, it wasn't here. We had to go to a friend's house to try it. But we've got video footage of us playing it. In the videos, you're going to see me play Star Wars Battlefront, where I fly an X-Wing fighter. you also see me and Zoe have a go on Resident Evil 7, which I can honestly say it was, uh, it was fucking terrifying. Um, we also have a go on the PlayStation sort of little VR sub-games, uh, VR worlds, I think it was called. Uh, viewer discretion advised, there is a lot of swearing in this video because we're terrified of all the horror that's happening to us. So if you're ready for something a bit different, stay tuned to this video. And uh, we're going to show you what um, happens when you play Resident Evil 7 in VR. You scream a lot. Okay. Check it out. Alright, so what you gotta do is press the button in the back, it yep. expands it. Okay. That button there slides backwards or forwards. Okay. So you press that, put it on your head. I'm going in. <laughs> right, wiggle it around on your head until it looks sharp. What I do is close one eye and move it about till the picture looks sharp in the corners. I'm scared I'm gonna shit myself probably. We're gonna have a look at Star Wars Battlefront, we're gonna have a look at Resident Evil 7. We're gonna this is so weird. Oh what's going on? <laughs> okay. Right. We'll... Oh fuck! Face forward to sit comfortably. Hi. This is a PS4 VR we're trying out here. I'm gonna be screaming like a bitch in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this on the screen. Right. Okay. So. So we can see what you can see. Okay. So. Oh fuck. Um. Oh my. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Click on the. There's an echo! Click on I've got the echo! Signals. Sorry. Uh, my little R2 unit there. There's actually echo, like I'm in a massive room with an X Wing. This is insane. My little R2 unit, see there, you, mate? That yellow one at the bottom. Click that one. Alright, mate. Which one, mate? Go right. Where it says look here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, so I'm in an X-wing fighter, and I'm in space. <laughs> this is fucking terrifying. I have no fear of space. I can go anywhere. I want to go, but I don't want to go anywhere. I want to be still. Oh, fuck. I've got a sweet X-wing pilot's uniform on, though. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Go around it! Oh, oh no. fuck me! I'm sorry, mate. Oh my god, it's fucking freaking me out, man. This is so sweet. See that there? That's the transporter. I had that as a toy when I was little. Funny story. I put it in the bath. <laughs> oh fucking hell! Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my R2 unit! Here I am, mate! I can see him! This is wild! Jesus Christ! Flying an X-Wing is a piece of piss! So that was Star Wars Battlefront VR, and now we're going into. Resident Evil 7 Ooh. So we're back with Ramrod playing Resident Evil 7 How you feeling babe? I'm okay You know this just reminds me of being at home really Yeah? Yeah Walking around the house? Just walking around our house <laughs> Without that happening <laughs> Oh 
now she put me on to the screwdriver. Good night. What are you doing now? Do you have a fork? Get this fucking thing out of here, fucking hand, mate! <laughs> My hands come off! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Please don't get me. Please don't get me. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> it's a mannequin. <laughs> it's a mannequin. Handgun. Handgun, bitch. What's up now? What's up now? What's up now? What's up now? You're not there, though, are you? If she jumps out at me now, I swear to Christ, she's going to get two in the face. <sighs> Bitch, don't jump out. Hello, ladies. What the fuck is going on? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get off me! Get fuck off you slag! Oh, fuck off! Oh, I've only got one hand left, you bitch! In your face! I told you you'd fucking have it! Calm down! Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> the slaggier! Fuck off! Oh, fuck this shit, I'm going. Move! Oh, she's murdering me. She's murdering me, face! Oh, she's killing me. She's killing me. She's killing me. She's killing me. She killed me. Well, that was Resident Evil 7. As you can see, it was quite an upsetting experience. So we've got some, something light to finish off with. Um, Zoe playing with her imaginary friends in VR world. This is just hilarious. I love this. What are you doing? Who are you waving at? These little buggers. Ah. Who? This one, this one, this one. Oh yeah. So where are you, Zoe? There's a little. Oh, I wish this was my life forever. Ah <laughs> <Hiya>. yeah. <laughs> what do I do? Oh. I've got the coins. I've got no coins. You can't. No coins? No coins? What so, are we doing? Go oh, back, back off this one. This is just like a collector's thing. She was a collector's thing she can get. Oh, look at them though. So I come out of this one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love them little things. Right, have you got a list of games in front of you? What? We'll be back. Okay, that was PlayStation 4 VR. As you can see, it's terrifying. It's scary, it's unsettling, it's mad as shit. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Somebody's got the windy pops over there. We're going to subscribe, uh, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> which you should do. Which is what you should all do, which is I'm thinking ahead there. You should subscribe, subscribe. And um, that was PlayStation 4 VR. Um, sorry I didn't get a lot of footage of Zoe at the end, because what happened was 
we were so entranced by her ex- childlike excitement that we all started playing like a four-player game where she was a big dinosaur and we were running away from her. Uh, later on, we also played a game where I'm a London gangster. and I, I've never had such an experience like it. Y- you can only know when you've played it. Those who've played this game on VR will know that in first person's perspective, I'm having a meeting with a gangster in a pub in London's East End and I can pick up a cigar and I can light the cigar. Well, I've dropped the mic. I, I needed that hand though. We'll just rest it there on my leg. Um, yeah, you, you light a cigar and then you go... And on the screen, you see the smoke coming out of your mouth. I, I've never had an experience like it. I can't recommend the PlayStation VR enough. The, the thing is, what we spoke about was the. this not got a lot of advertising. Um, it's one of those things that like gamers will know about. And if they can afford it, then they can go, it and, go and get it and enjoy it. But it, it's just not being marketed, as far as I'm concerned. When people are spending money on Pie Face... And, you know, that stupid thing that does actually another thing, you say things. I mean, what get a PlayStation VR for Christmas is mental. The fun was, like, unlimited. And the games that are going to come out for it going forward are just going to be outstanding. It was a brilliant, brilliant experience. So thanks to Jenny and Martin for letting us go around and use their PlayStation VR. They're probably going to see a hell of a lot more of us now, funnily enough, while we sit in their chairs like we're in fucking strange days, uh, living a different life under the sea. But, you know, that's the that's better than, you know, most lives under Donald Trump, I suppose. So that said... I also had the shark attack experience. Sorry, you did, didn't you? Um, she went into something quite close to the movie The Abyss, where she goes down and down and down to a discarded nuclear submarine, and then a great white shark smashes into the cage to get at her. Um, fortunately, I didn't have that VR experience, because I think I would have had a very, very bad time with it, and shat myself literally on my sister's couch. But Zoe had the experience, and she likes animals and things, so she was like happy to see the shark trying to bite her face off. And we got to see it on the screen. The good thing, as you probably saw in the video, was when you have the headset on, whatever you're experiencing, you can see on the screen as well. It, it was just loads of fun. So if you've got a PS4, go and sell your, sell your dog, sell your mum, and go and buy one of these headsets. Don't sell your dog. Don't sell the dog. Sell your mum, though. And, yeah, we're going to be back with more videos soon. That was a bit of a, you know, diversion from what we normally do. So don't forget to like subscribe, share the shit out of the videos and um, we'll be back with more Beyond the Bedlam. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Ooh. Say hello to my little friend. So welcome to um, Beyond the Bedlam and what did you say? Nothing, I just said wait. You got any powder? You conk. Beeps. What? Remember what Jen said. Do you want makeup there? Do you want the powder? Hold this. It's because of the light, like. Okay, come on. Stay there. You stay there. Keep it there. No, keep it there. No, keep it there, babe. That's it. I think we're at that point now where I better start looking a bit better. Do you not think? Does that look okay? No. It's going to take a lot of doing. Well, don't, don't do loads. I only want a little tiny bit because of all the glare. The what? The, the glare. The glare. The glare. Well, don't start, di- di- just forget it. Don't start digging around in your makeup kit. You wanted powder, you did. Give me a little bit. Just do me, just quick. I'm doing your conk. Don't fucking tell me. That should do it. Okay. You look the same. Kiss my arm, what?